Governments aside, healthcare providers are also keen to tap into the growing demand in Asia. But there are still some challenges to overcome. Let's find out more in this week's Sector Spotlight with Channel News Asia's Timothy Ouyang. And our guest tonight is Barry Thomas, Vice President and Director for Asia Pacific at the medical device company Cook Medical. Now, Barry, thanks a lot for joining us this evening. Thank you. Good now, evening. Asia, strong opportunities in the healthcare uh, industry, but the region remains quite vast uh, and quite a diverse market in that. Uh, what are some of the issues that healthcare players um, have to be mindful when, when coming to Asia? Well, I think exactly what you said. It is a vast market. It's very different. It's nine to ten different countries, different cultures, different ways to do business. So you've got to be prepared to come in, listen, learn, and adapt to what is happening in the market. Mm. And what do you see as some of the uh, opportunities and, and challenges for uh, healthcare providers uh, coming to Asia? I think the opportunity, obviously, is that healthcare here is going the way of the West, Western diets coming in, so we're seeing those diseases staying in development, you know, obesity, heart disease, diabetes. So we know how to treat them, but it's how do we treat them and how do we make that available across the broad spectrum of patients in Asia. From, you know, there's a, a rich to a very poor, and we've got to be able to provide it. And China remains, uh, you know, one of the biggest markets here in Asia. Uh, given that the uh, central government um, recently opened its healthcare sector to foreign players um, in December 2010, now how are healthcare players viewing this development? Well, I think it's exciting. I think, you know, for us, um, it means that there are opportunities for us to go in and look at, at partnering, at sharing, at teaching, at learning and being able to work with them to provide opportunities, provide better health care, um, also you know, to start looking for joint ventures and partnerships to manufacture, develop, etc. So I think that's, you know, it was always there, it was difficult to do, now I think it's much easier to do. No, indeed. Um, medical tourism has flourished uh, in Asia uh, over the past few years. Do you see this trend continuing going forward? Um, well, there are two sorts of medical tourism to me when, when, when you look at it. There is that visiting Western person that comes here because they can get cheaper health care. I think the more exciting part is this cooperation that's occurring in the region where people that don't have access to health care, say in Indonesia, can come into Singapore and get better health care. And, and I think that's an exciting part of, of this medical tourism. Um, and I think that will continue for a long time. And I think that cross uh, regional cooperation is a very exciting prospect. Thanks a lot for sharing all these insights with us this evening. Thank you very much. And I've been speaking there with Barry Thomas from Cook Medical.